know who that is? I'm pretty sure that's Duckfoot Jr. right there. Dad, I found Duckfoot! Hold up the camera. Beautiful five side right there. Alright, so I just rolled in here and uh, I just spotted this antler out of the truck and this is one of our three-year-olds, big three-year-old. And uh, we spotted him a couple times this year, had him in range a couple times, but uh, elected to pass him, so hoping that this big three-year-old would turn into a monster four-year-old. So good thing we found his antler, super excited. Let's keep going. That's a good one, holy cow. Other side to my other side of the one I just found. That is the uh, right side of trifecta nine. So, what's the Illinois rule? The Illinois rule: whoever finds the first side gets the other side. So, uh, freaking what is that? Half mile, half mile from the food plot we were just at. Found his one antler over there. I just found his other antler right here where he's been getting his pictures all year. So, freaking awesome. All right, so. All right, we're walking today. Just got a picture from Tanner after walking for a mm, good, good two hours. He found the other side of that antler that we found last time we were here. His name is 138, had a drop tine. And he slowly started getting busted up this year, but we're gonna see what he's got now. Actually, I see him coming right here. Oh, ho, ho. Dang, boy. Oh, my. <laughs> Where at? Right there, all three sheds within like freaking 15 yards. One right here on the edge and two within 10 yards. Dad walked right past this one. Really? Yeah. Bling, bling. Coming from New York, we don't have very many antlers out here. So this is my first actual shed hunting experience in Illinois and my nephews are pretty sure what this deer is, who he is, and uh, this is what we found. Freaking crossbeam. Awesome, man. My first Illinois shed. Yeah, babe, get you some. All right, I just found the shed here. Uh, looks like two-year-old, not very much mass, not a big brow time, but my brother literally about walked on it. We well, just found I, that shed. I had a tree, I had a tree right my way. And as I came around the tree, I hear, oh, there's one, look down. There's a freaking antler. <laughs> we just found that one right there. That's the and side to one of the bucks we call crossbeam. It says right in front of our box point out there. We got another antler, so. Let's go check it out. Woohoo! Freaking A, man. <laughs> All right, um, so we just went on a shed finding spree in uh, about five minutes. My uncle found one, then Tanner found one, and then we found one out here. Oh. Definitely is uh, 138. Broke the drop time. Freaking beautiful deer. Gonna be a stud next year. All right, so uh, we got one antler here from I think this is Henry Seven, and then I see another antler over here. So we're gonna go check her out. Laying tines down. Looks like a little bit better antler. Hi, bro. So, two different antlers in the same field. Hi, bro, and Henry Seven. <laughs> Break in. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so uh, we're driving down this edge to get to the next food plot to check and spot an antler from the truck. Not really sure what deer it is, but broken brow. Nice little fork side though, just laying right here on this little grass edge. Pretty sweet, so let's get on to the food plot. All right, so uh, we were just finishing up walking our second farm of the day, and uh, we got to this open spot, and I said, heck, I'll just come over here and check this edge, and sure enough, found this, looks like a three, I don't even know how old that antler is. It's a solid antler. <laughs> it's weird. It's got, this is like either it's brow or G2, Never grew a brow, or I don't know what it is, but it's it's a cool shed. But this is the first one for this farm, and uh, we're getting ready to wrap up and leave. So cool little find. 
All right, so we were walking in this bean plot uh, we call Field of Dreams, and there happened to be a little shed laying here, so. Came right out of that trail right there. He's got a split brow time. All right, got the first of the day. We've walked a couple of miles, but uh, I am pretty sure I know what deer this is, and actually he's dead. It's a buck I killed this year, I believe from his shed from last year. I've got his one side, but I think I just found his other side. It's out here in the middle of this open spot. Here he is. A really nice find for me. I'm actually happy because I can put this at the base of the deer head now whenever I get it mounted. So this is my second dead head for today. Uh, we've been walking for about two hours and found a couple of little sheds and uh, I found a nice dead head eight pointer and then we've just found this 10 pointer. Cool deer and potential. Shame to see him go like that. We'll find his brother though. All right, so I'm getting yelled at right now by the two, there's a team. So it's me and Tanner, and then the two lovebirds over there. But uh, we just got out of the truck, and I found my first antler. We've been out of the truck for five minutes and already yelling because we're on the board, they're not. So here it is. Nice little five side. Oh. Nice little look. Keep Hold going. it up. And Team Lovers is on the board, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've passed this deer so many times this year. Me and my brother both, everybody that's hunted this farm this year, passed him at least nine times this year. A couple good times right here in the soup plot. I'm just walking all this corn you see behind us. Just came around that corner there, just walking. And then I just picked up his uh, his good side. So I'm gonna show it to you now. It's got a split G3, big sticker off his base, and deer's two, a two year old, two years old, and he already looks like that. So, what are your thoughts on that? Laying right here where we thought it would be, so. Way to go. We're gonna, we're gonna look for his other side. It's gotta be right here somewhere, right? Yep. All right. So Let's go. Just standing here talking about this antler, and Tanner, I think, just spotted the other side. Yeah. It's an antler for sure. I spotted it laying kinds down over here. Kinds down beam is the only thing sticking up. I don't know, man. It looks a little. A little smaller than yeah. this side. Oh no, it's one of the fours. Uh, oh wait. No, it's a little. It's it's oh. Studley. Is it Studley? Oh, it's Studley. Studley. We got Studley's <laughs> antler. No way. Two antlers right here, close. So, well, there's mine. Good old Studley and Temptation. Dude, we got we video saw them. of Studley we, and Temptation. Yeah, freaking awesome spot, dude. Dude, I'm a hot spot. <laughs> now, Shop, we're going to look for these. Find up. the rest of them. All right, Tanner. I just got hurt. I heard some hollering over here. We're just heading back to the truck. And I hear, oh my God, I got one! I got one! Oh, you know who that is? Who's it? Studley. Oh, is that his other side? It's Studley. No, it's his real side. This one isn't Studley. Oh, it isn't? It's too small? Yeah, Studley had way bigger brows. Yeah, that's that's Studley. Little old Studley. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> we were just walking, meeting up, and I was out here. Oh, oh, there's one right here. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so, yep. nice a job on the way back to the truck. So, losing a little bit of light. So, Let's find the other side before we leave, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is like, that's the truck. And uh, there's a cabin right here. 
What do you expect in the cabin's yard, though? <laughs> a freaking antler in the cabin's yard. That's the deer. We call it 138. You got a couple clips of him. And his antler's just laying in the cabin yard. We got a freaking pack full of sheds. And old Bobby here's been at the house for, oh. <laughs> oh, he's showing you his broken finger. But um, he's been at the house for who knows how long, probably 20 minutes. And yeah, I've just been laying right here in the yard. It's right here. Pop, what just happened? Found an antler. That's just how it works. Found an antler laying in the freaking field over here. Oh, I think it's the other, yeah, it's high, it's high brows. It's so, technically, my antler. Hi, bro. <laughs> nice job. Gotta have a trained eye. A trained eye, he says. Who's gonna pick it up? Dad, pick it up. You, you haven't picked up an antler on camera yet this yeah, year. You, you passed that deer, you can pick it up. What deer was it? Hi, bro. Oh, yeah. Passed him during new season. Yeah. Passed his deer during new season. Whoopee. Got the first antler today. Just. We're off the back of the cornfield back here. It's an old one, a little chewed, but I'm gonna pull it out of the grass here. Maybe, that may be two or three years old right there. Pretty nice though. Guess we'll keep going. So I just picked up this antler from five feet away, look over, found his other side. Now I know it doesn't look like much, but I found this deer's match set already this year. I saw this deer during second gun last year when I shot my big seven pointer. He uh, broke this side off on his right side. He broke it off at his G uh, two or three, I think, two. And this, I mean, this is the area he was in, so we were just waiting and finally, finally found his match set, so pretty happy.